Spirit, welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, the first card we've got is a number one. So you're making a brand new start on something over here. Uh, it looks like you're starting to focus your energies and attentions. So you've got a goal that you want uh, to achieve and you're starting to focus. And, you know, the card uh, number one is usually a card of manifestation. So that's what you're trying to do at the moment. You've got the zero card over here. So you're, you've left something old behind, ending off an old situation, beginning off a brand new um, uh phase in your life. You've got a lot of strategy, uh, a lot of things that you're thinking about doing. Now, you can't see clearly about what you have. You don't have a very clear vision about what you want to do, but you definitely are, are starting brand new again. This is like the full card. And then you've got the rose over here, and this is talking about maybe there's a new love coming in for you here. So something brand new coming over here that's going to make you pretty happy. So there's a change of circumstance. If you're not really involved in a relationship, it might be, you know, uh, things getting better within that relationship. In the past, you had the knife over here, so there was a decision that needed to be made. It may have been some kind of legal decision. Uh, you've got that bullseye over there. So uh, you had been focused on that uh, and, um, you know, maybe dealing with people as well, making, maybe trying to reconcile uh, um, relationship that had broken down. There was a lack or a loss of communication with this particular person. So you've been having some problems. It looks like you've received some kind of message uh, recently, maybe from this person uh, with whom you'd had uh, a breakup with. Uh, so there was some kind of news that came in. This could also be that legal news has come in for you, and this is now allowing you to make a fresh start, really. So going into the future, you've got uh, the flying card over here. So you're rising above that cir circumstance. You're getting over it in the future. Um, it looks like things are starting. There's a lot of communication going on over there, uh, but this is a card of hope. Uh, this is almost like the star card and, you know, getting over things, overcoming things, seeing the bigger picture of things. And then you've got the burning of the card, uh, burning card of here. So you are burning your bridges and walking away. Whatever happened was very dramatic for you. There was a lot of uh, chaos, maybe a lot of loss. Maybe you even had to move home. You could have lost your job as well. But it looks like you're leaving it and walking away from that disaster. And you're flying away really from it. So it looks like things are going to start improving for you. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some cards from, let's get these put away, uh, the Parrot Tarot deck. And this is a really lovely deck as well. It's quite an old deck, uh, old in the sense of when it was uh, actually published, but it's a very beautiful deck. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, you've got the three of discs over here, and you can see uh, you've got uh, Mars in uh, Capricorn there. So this is talking about starting to focus all your energy, or you've been focusing all your energy on your work. Working very, very hard, you can see this goat is pulling uh, this cart with the pentacles in it. So you're working pretty hard for your money. Uh, you're using a lot of strategy uh, as well. Now you've got the rose sitting in the middle of those um, tiles there. And this is saying that, you know, things are good. You know, there are some good things about it, but there's also thorns in a rose. So therefore, you know, there could be some people or some situations that are causing a little bit of uh, upset as well. Uh, you're being handed this nice little rose bush over there uh, from by the hand of God. So it looks like there's going to be some kind of opportunity that might present itself to you uh, as far as your work goes and helps you with your career. You can see the rose is being placed on the cart over there. So it looks like in your work situation, something's going to be offered to you uh, that's going to make things very, very much easier for you, uh, but still really, really working hard. You've got this doorway open over here, so new doors are opening up for you uh, as far as your work goes. Now, with the with the, um, three of discs or the three of pentacles, rather, that's the card, uh, you know, there's a lot of collaboration, uh, you know, there's a lot of help that comes in and a lot of communication, but it's also being in charge of a project, so you're the one that's heading whatever is going on, but you are working very, very hard, and your focus with that Mars and Capricorn is on that work at this moment. So what has happened with you? You've got the uh, five of cups over here, you, you can see is the card of disappointment. You've got Mars in uh, Scorpio over here. So there was a lot of tears, a lot of um, heartache, a lot of uh, 
you can see these roses uh, or these flowers actually crying blood tears. So something that caused a lot of upset in your life. Um, and it might have been, you know, you've got a lot of two, uh, you can see there's twos, this is in the shape of a two. So it's usually about relationships. There's been a breakup of maybe a relationship or a, a breakup of some, some kind of partnership, but it has led through, to a lot of disappointment and upset over here. Mars in um, Scorpio, it might have been, you know, maybe a love relationship breaking down. There's a lot of disappointment, uh, but it's also a card that shows there was a lot of vindictive energy that was involved, and this is why you are so upset and crying over it. You're trying to get your balance back over there with the temperance card, so you're trying to get rid of those emotions, those negative emotions. Whatever happened affected your home life, it seems. You've got the volcano erupting there in the back, so it was some kind of big dra a dramatic event that, particular, that happened, and you had to draw on a lot of inner strength in order for you to get over the situation. You are now starting to heal from it, uh, because even the Five of Cups is usually a healing card. So this is, uh, you know, things starting to happen in, on a positive way. You've got a new moon cycle over here, so the old has ended and the new is beginning. You've got a rainbow usually comes in, uh, you know, after uh, there's been a, a, a big traumatic event. So it's usually the healing uh, powers of the uh, um, the rainbow, and it speaks about positivity or, you know, being um, optimistic about the future as well. There's also a bridge here. It looks like, you know, you're making that decision and you're crossing over that particular problem or that issue. And, you know, it, maybe this person and you have broken up uh, or gone your separate ways, you can see there was a lot of lightning and there's a lot of clouds on the top of the card uh, over there showing there was quite a big argument or disagreement that happened or some kind of very, very big traumatic effect um, thing uh, that happened. So there are two mountains over here showing that there are still obstacles that you are facing, but you are not coming to terms with it. And, uh, you know, you are using all your uh, positive um, insights to get away, uh, to get over it. You might be doing a lot of praying. Um, and, uh, you know, you are drawing on your spirituality, really, to overcome this particular problem. So in the past, you've got that Three of Cups, which is showing, um, you know, uh, there was abundance that was, uh, you know, you had a really good family life going on over here. You've got Cancer here, Mercury in Cancer. You were pretty happy. Um, you might have been involved you know, with somebody, there might have been a three-party three situation that happened. Uh, this could also be the support of people around you, um, you know, during a difficult situation. You did have a lot of abundance, uh, you know, in the past. Um, but or what happened, you, uh, you know, there might have been a legal issue that happened or something uh, because this is the mentor of swords. You can see there's a lot of air in this particular card, uh, which is like Gemini, um, Libra, and Mercury. So there was a big, uh, you know, mental problem mental in the sense of the energies was were you know to do with legalities or they were to do with you know uh, mental anguish that happened the mentor of swords is like um the prince of swords or rather the page of swords rather that comes in and brings in legal news so you receive some kind of uh, very very distressing news there might have been uh, a judgment that was made or something that happened that caused the break up uh, of a particular situation so something was destroyed can see this pathway is no more uh, complete. There's a break in the road. So it has set you off course. It's gotten you right off course, whatever it is that happened. So there was some really, you know, you were in a, a really good place and then something came in that caused, uh, stirred up a lot of upset for you. And it could have been very, very, something that came in very, very fast and it was very, very upsetting uh, or very, very traumatic for you. And it caused, it could have been a legal issue or then again, it could have been, you know, somebody that you were dealing with. You could have been dealing with one of the air signs, which is um, uh, Libra, Aquarius, or um, Gemini uh, energies that caused a lot of problems and caused whatever plans you have to come completely to a halt, a break in the road, a break in your path. And it's now left you quite traumatized because you're sitting and crying over it with that five of cups. Now, on your mind, you want a new beginning. Uh, this is what's been playing on your mind and a new emotionally beginning. So, you know, whatever this a mentor of sorts, it, it could have been a divorce or some kind of legal separation from this particular person that you were dealing with. And now you want to uh, make a new, a fresh start. Uh, it looks like, you know, you can see there's there's been in the background volcanic eruptions over here. And you've got this volcanic eruption going on as well uh, in this temperance card. So something really dramatic, something really big happened over here that caused a lot of problems. But you are now trying to take your control back, take your power back and move forward. That's what you want. 
So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Cups, uh, satiety, and this is about, you know, uh, the end of difficult situations. So you've got Mars in Pisces over here. Now, you know, um, Mars in Pisces um, is, is not the best placements to have because it's a detriment, you know, it's in its detriment. In other words, uh, you know, you're feeling very, very low energy. You're feeling um, extremely, uh, you know, worn out, very, very tired. You just want this to end. This has got the tree of life here. So, you know, you are doing a life review as well. Uh, but um, with this particular card, that it's a 10, it's an end of a cycle. And with the 10 of cups, it's an end of a difficult emotional cycle that you've gone through. You're now doing, you know, you're, you're thinking a lot about your life and you're taking things back. You want to get that emotional control back. You are feeling very defeated. So it's got the five of swords over here. You might have come out from a very, very, um, you know, difficult legal situation. Like I said, it could have been a divorce. You are feeling defeated. So whatever happened, whatever the outcome of that particular case is, may not have gone in your favor. You've got Venus sitting in Aquarius over here. So, you know, uh, Aquarius is, is ruled by Uranus and that brings sudden dramatic changes, dramatic endings. Venus shows that, you know, that it might have been a love interest or something that, you know, you were very, very uh, dedicated to on an emotional level. Um, or very, very invested on an emotional level. And it looks like, you, know, you can see the star standing in the middle and all these swords pointing at it. So it looks like everybody came at you. You were victimized in this particular situation. <clears throat> and you are feeling very, very betrayed as well. So whatever it was that happened, uh, there was a lot of lies, a lot of deceit, a lot of backhanded uh, or underhanded behavior rather so people doing things behind your back and this caused uh, this particular issue to happen so whatever this drama was that happened caused a lot of problems and it looks like it's on an emotional uh, on a personal level uh, simply because you know you are able to go back and do your work but you're still coping now with this emotional problem that is going on in the background now you've got the justice card over here so you are dealing with a legal situation so this could be a divorce that you're dealing with and you're waiting for news to come in you've got that hand of god coming in as well over there this is the justice card so you are being given a hand uh you know you are being guided um and you are being helped through this particular situation there's a lot of angels over here in this particular card so you know know that uh you know you are not alone in it you might get some kind of kind of communication if there's any letters or uh things that you need to or any documents uh that you need to look at make sure that you're reading them very very carefully uh you know you don't want to be caught out by the fine print and make sure all your um, uh, eyes are dotted and your T's are crossed really is what I'm trying to say. But it looks like you're waiting for some kind of legal decision and that's going to bring in that ending, that emotional ending that you're going through. Now, what's your hopes and fears? You want the world, so you do want things to end. You want things to reach completion. You want closure on this particular situation and that is what uh, you know, you're hoping for. So going into the future, you've got the Ten of Discs over here, the Eight of Discs, and the Six of Swords. So Discs in this deck is about pentacles. So you've got the Ten of Pentacles over here. It says wealth. So, you know, it's an ending of a financial situation as well. So if you were financially tied with somebody, uh, you know, financially dependent, or you had joint finances, it looks like that has come to an end or will be coming to an end. You've got Mercury in uh, Virgo in this particular energy. So you must think yourself out of the situation. You need, need to be focused. You need to be... Um, you know, um, concentrate on whatever is going on. And Virgo is the card of being alone. So this is like the end and moving out of a relationship and into maybe the single life in itself. There could be a financial payoff as well with this uh, 10 of discs because it is a wealth card, which means that there is some kind of money coming to you, some kind of settlement coming into you. You've got the eight of discs over here, which speaks about prudence. And this is again, sun in Virgo. So this is about you needing to focus, <coughs> you needing to watch uh, you know, you're spending, watch what you're doing, uh, you know, watch your finances quite carefully uh, and be very practical when it comes to dealing with money issues or money matters as well. With the eight of disc, uh, discs as well, with the sun in Virgo, there's a lot more concentration on the work front. So you'll be focusing a lot more on your career and there might be some kind of learning opportunities that come in with the work front because the eight of uh, Pentacles is about being that apprentice, being that student. So there is some kind of opportunity for learning and advancement uh, um, by that means. But it is a prudence card, so that means you know you have to be cautious with everything around you and 
to tread carefully. With the Hermit card, there's usually always a snake in that card. So, you know, watch out for hidden enemies. Watch out for people uh, not looking out for your best interests as well. The last card is the Nine of Swords, sorry, the Six of Swords, uh, Mercury in Aquarius. So Mercury in Aquarius, both, um, you know, very malefic energies, meaning that they're negative kind of energies. So, you know, you're still battling on the mental front, dealing with all the heartbreak, thinking about it a lot and being very, very stressed out about it. You can see even these swords are bent out of shape. So, you know, you're doing a lot of thinking, uh, you know, maybe it's affecting your sleeping, maybe it's affecting everything about you. You've been through a lot of, uh, you know, uh, tower moments. Uh, especially with that six of swords but it's also a card about you know moving away from that particular situation and moving away from a mental um point of view so uh you know you're overcoming it you're leaving that situation you've got to leave it and just move on take whatever is yours and move on take your lessons if you have to move home take take your belongings and go this could be also a card of travel and this is a card usually about getting away from um you know that situation and it's a card that's saying you know you've got to use a lot of logic as well because some brilliant ideas are going to come to you on how to sort the problem out you know aquarius usually brings these um sudden uh, uh, spurts of brilliance brilliant ideas brilliant things coming and because it's ruled by uranus you know things happen very suddenly you've got mercury over there so you know your mental energy is going to be all fired up you're going to have some really good ideas and you're going to find the solution to this particular problem either to get you away from it physically or to get you away from it mentally so you are going to be able to move away from things so I'm going to draw some cards from the uh, Angel Tarot. Okay, so you've got the Knight of Fire over here. So a sudden event that needs immediate action. Time is of the essence. Think things through clearly uh, so or carefully. And uh, so you are moving away from things. Uh, you might be even changing jobs over here. With the Knight of Fire is generally about travel and it's also about relocating to do a job somewhere else. So there could be a new job coming up for you, a new offer for a job, and you might need to travel with that and pretty quickly as well. Uh, you could also be dealing with a, a fire sign person here and maybe they're coming in with some kind of message for you. Uh, but this person's carrying this, uh, you know, this rod that's on fire. So something that makes you act very quickly. It could be news. But it could also be an offer that comes in and you, you need to make some decisions pretty quickly. You've got the King of Water over here. It says, open your heart and mind to those around you. Trustworthy and heartfelt advice, charity work. So whatever this decision is that you're going to have to make pretty quickly, you're going to have to get some kind of advice or support from it. So somebody that you respect, somebody that you trust. It could be a water sign person. It could even be a professional person, a professional counselor. But somebody needs to give you some kind of input in how to deal with this particular situation. And you've got the world card over here, and this is ruled by Archangel Michael, which says, a job well done, joy and contentment, a path towards enlightenment. So you are ending an old cycle, and you are moving away. So whatever this news is, is going to spur you into action. It looks like you're moving away. You can see the sea there. So, you know, water behind. So this is, you might be doing overseas travel here. Uh, and you've even got the king of water, so maybe traveling overseas. Uh, with a, a world card of here, it could be a change in a job situation. The world card is ruled by Saturn. And, uh, you know, with Archangel Michael on, you know, ruling the card as well, it's about something illegal and something in official uh, involving your work situation. So you could be signing new contracts, but it's definitely the end of an old job and a beginning of something new. And there could be some kind of uh, financial payoff as well with this. So it looks like you've, uh, you're getting closure on this particular situation. You're going to be moving forward and it's all going to be work related, it seems. So you are moving away from this into something positive. It looks like you're ending cycles. You've got that 10 of cups over here. You've got a 10 of discs there. Um, it looks like you're ending cycles completely. You're moving from that five into the tens so that means that where you know you were grieving about things that five of cups you're now moving into a ten of cups which means you're ending that cycle and where you felt very very defeated very very disempowered with that five of swords it like it looks like you move into the ten of discs which gives you some kind of financial stability and security and allows you to move forward so you are ending cycles you're taking charge finally there's that legal issue that is coming on you're waiting for that to come through and um you know you're going to be moving on and making changes especially with that world card so you are closing that situation down and moving on so i hope this reading has resonated with you please don't forget to like share subscribe and excuse me leave me some comments if this message has resonated with you thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye